Hello everyone, Buck Beans here, and today we'll be exploring a mod known as Galacticraft. Galacticraft is an adventure and technology mod where you can craft your own rockets and explore planets in the galaxy. It also adds new ores and tools to your game. So originally I was gonna show like every single step in order to set up Galacticraft, like in order to set up, you know, the rockets and all that, but there is so many machines so many machines there's also a lot of steps involved in crafting like in order to make steel you have to get your iron out and you have to get your coal out and you have to compress it and you have to make compressed steel and you have to make all of these compressed metals in your compressor and you'll also need you know a circuit fabricator for these wafers and you have to set up a whole new kind of workbench called a NASA workbench in order to actually craft the rockets so I think instead of showing like every step to set up I'm just gonna show you guys like the main stuff and then we can go and head off to space and we will be exploring the moon and other planets in the galaxy so I hope you guys enjoy and make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you do thank you So this is me crafting the rockets and to craft the rockets you will need these heavy duty plates which I showed you, you getting in a compressor. So you compress steel, aluminum and bronze and you put these compressed materials into the compressor and you'll get a heavy duty plates in result of this. And then you'll also need a nose cone, rocket fins and a rocket engine. And just for a tier 1 rocket, just for a tier 1, you'll need 78 copper, 91 tin, 97 iron, 80 coal, a flint redstone, and a stone, and either 0 to 24 wood. And the wood is in case you want a chest or not, so if you don't want a chest, you don't need any wood. But yeah, so you have to make this nose cone, make the rocket fins, and make all of these different materials and then you can put them in your NASA workbench and you'll be able to craft a rocket but you don't just get to craft a rocket and place it down you'll also need oxygen, rocket fuel and a launch pad to put your rocket on so this is me crafting the launch pads uh, so I can put my rocket down and then I also have to get some fuel and you get this from the crude oil so you can find crude oil underground. For the sake of the video I put the oil up here on this platform and I put a bucket in it in survival mode in order to get some oil and then you just pop that in another machine you have to make which is the refinery and from the refinery you'll be able to get your fuel into the little canisters which are made out of compressed tin. So then you'll also need oxygen which can be made with the oxygen collector and you'll also need an oxygen compressor very fun machines to make to say the least and yeah they also require power so i didn't mention anything about power yet but you get that with a coal generator or with solar panels those can also be crafted and you connect them with aluminum wires and that's made pretty simply with aluminum and wool. Since we finally have our rocket oxygen and fuel, let's go to the moon. So make sure you gear up before going to the moon as you'll meet many hostile mobs and your goal is to fight the evolved skeleton boss in order to open a treasure chest for a tier 2 rocket plan which will unlock more planets. Also, if you're planning on staying on the moon for a while, make sure you set up a base to generate oxygen. Right off the bat, landing on the moon, I find a space village with some creepy looking aliens. Says I need some sort of device to communicate with them, so I decided on raiding their village crops instead. Since there's not too much on the moon, I decided to find a dungeon to get myself a tier 2 rocket. 
So entering a man-made hole, I discover some hostile mobs and also came to the conclusion that normal torches won't work on the moon. Instead, you'll need glowstone torches. After wandering around aimlessly for a while, I finally found a moon dungeon. I'm unsure if there's a better way of finding these, but you'll need to definitely invest some time into it. There's way more moon villages than dungeons, that's for sure. Now that I'm in the dungeon, I realize the mobs are way stronger than usual, but I try to power through anyway. I die and I have to find another dungeon as I don't remember where that one was. I'm also lucky to make it to the boss and I board up all the mobs behind me with moon rock. I make sure to take potions this time. The boss fight commences and I gotta say, the mobs to get into the boss arena are a lot more tough than the boss itself. Those creepers are very scary. However, that was only tier 1 so it only gets harder from here. So far, my opinion of Galacticraft isn't the best. While it was fun fighting the boss, it didn't last very long. Now I'll have to grind for parts for a tier 2 rocket, which will take a hefty amount of time. Since we defeated the boss, it's time to go back to the overworld so we can craft our tier 2 rocket. We can put the schematic into our NASA workbench in order to unlock the new recipe. The difference with the tier 2 rocket is that it additionally requires tier 1 boosters. It also requires tier 2 heavy duty plates. Make sure you do some mining on the moon as well because you'll need meteoric iron. You can get meteoric iron by mining fallen meteors on the moon or other planets.
my interpretation of our tier 2 rocket is that it's much faster than tier 1. As you can see when, I'm la when I land, I'm in this ball of clouds from my parachute which protects me and makes me bounce. It does look a little funny though. Anyway, the purpose of the new rocket, the tier 2 rocket, is to get to Mars. A new ore called Desh is, can be found here. Slimelings are found on Mars and are tameable. There's also a new hostile called a sludgeling. Hostiles also are all over the planet. As you can see when I land, you could see the skeletons and the spiders. But anyway, we're on a quest now to find the Mars dungeon. It's similar to the one on the moon, so it's a manhole in the ground. The boss is the evolved creeper boss, which has three heads and shoots TNT at the player. You can try to defeat this boss by using your bow or sword to reflect TNT back at the boss. Some tips for defeating the boss is that you make sure you aim below the head of the creeper as the creeper has protection on their head. So if you aim for the head or above their head the TNT is unlikely to hit. But the boss also spawns tiny minion creepers that run at you and explode. Thankfully not much of a threat with diamond or dash armor. I do notice I have an invalid thermal setup, but it hasn't killed me yet. There is additional thermal armor you can craft in order to take precaution against this. You'll also need thermal armor for uh, above planets like the tier 3 planets and tier 4 planets and all that. It's good to have thermal armor so that you can spend a long time on the planet without getting hurt. Hello everyone, Buckbeans here and I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and I really wanted to explore more planets like Venus and stuff like that but unfortunately uh, since setting up took so much time like before we even got a rocket we had to set up and all that and making all the machines it just takes so much time that I wasn't able to explore all of the planets but I, so far I'd give this mod a 6 out of 10 or a 6.5 out of 10 just because the setting up takes a large amount of time and of course I haven't explored all the planets yet but if you guys want to see more Galactic Craft in the future I would be happy to do so and thank you so much for watching bye bye